Are we ready? Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube. What? <laughs> oh, you uh, I was about to say it and I opened my mouth and I was and you left me with my mouth open. <laughs> I can do I can say it like inside what do you call that? Book tarding and then oh. you can move Oh like uh, oh yeah like okay, a lip we'll, we'll try. Okay. No no let's Hi everybody. No no let's open go. your mouth. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your host Arne and Carl. And we are back with yet another tutorial or some tips or hacks or whatever you want to call it. Uh, before summer, uh, we were uh, doing our sit in it for a bit, which is our usual uh, Wednesday podcast that we do throughout the year, not in the summer though. Um, and we showed this really nice lace scarf. And it's not finished yet. It's still unfinished. Still another UFO. But I love, love the colors. It's they're, so you. They're really my colors. And today I'm actually, it's actually by coincidence, not really, but I'm matching, uh, I, I brought out a shirt that matches the colors. And uh, this is going to be uh, my summer scarf um, or my fall scarf or even winter scarf. It's a very uh, fun. If you're a lady, you can have it like a wrap in the. Sun. Yeah, yeah, like a wrap. I'd wear it like a, like a really cool. Uh, but you scarf. never wear scarves in the summer, do you? No, no. I wear it in the fall, probably. Yeah, pro the fall. Yeah, but it's a really cool uh, <laughs> scarf. Uh, what I like about it is that um, so it's lace. We're knitting uh, lace uh, using DK yarn. We're doing a felted tweed. Yes. Um, and what's really really cool about it is that we're doing it in stripes. And um, once you do lace in stripes, you get a completely different pattern because the lace pattern kind of changes as you keep changing the stripes or the color in the stripes. So it's very, very cool um, and a lot of fun to knit. I yes. have to say, this is fun. And easy. And easy, yeah. Because when you do lace, there's always, you have, you, when you've done a few stripes, you kind of remember what you're doing mm. because you're also seeing what you have to do because yeah. when you see how the, st the, the stitches are moving yeah so it's actually i think it's easy you know? yeah it's very easy so uh yeah it is yeah and and doing it in dk yarn means it goes very quickly as well so because it's dk uh it's about 22 stitches per 10 centimeters so it goes very fast uh stripes uh actually are easy to figure out the quantities that you'll need. So each stripe is four grams of yarn. So you can quickly calculate that you can actually make a, 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 a quite a good length uh, by doing uh, one ball of each color. So you've got, in this case, the felted tweed, one ball of the blue, one ball of the, sorry, one of the dark blue, one of the light blue, and one of the pink. Uh, you do four grams in each stripe. And uh, currently there's eight stripes of the blue because I counted. So that's 32 grams in this length. But you want it a little bit longer. Yeah, I want it longer, obviously. Yeah. So I am uh, quite certain that uh, by getting three balls of yarns, you actually get a really good length. Um, three balls? Four, yeah. No, one, one in ball, each color. One yeah. ball in each color. Yeah, three yeah. balls. Yeah, three balls. So three yeah. balls of, of felted tweed <laughs> will get you quite far in terms of the correct length for a scarf. Personally, I think a scarf should be about 165 centimeters long. Yeah. That's my go-to. I think this right? is a little bit shorter right now. Right now, oh yeah, much shorter. Hmm. Anyway, Arne, um, so today's and tips and you, hacks. If you want a wider one, just add the uh, rip, the report, a the new, number yeah. of stitches in the report. Yeah, add What's a, in between those stars in the pattern. Yeah, so this is a one repeat will be a scarf. If you do two repeats, you get a wrap. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Or more. Yeah. So Arne, do we so have tips. any tips and hacks for yes. uh, the scarf? So give it to me. I can show you some tips. I have to turn because I don't remember what I did. But yeah. now I have too many to projects. See. So, so now I'm on the right side of the pattern. This is the back. And when you have and you start on this side, you see you have a pearl. So then when you knit Norwegian style, you won't do that because you can't, it's kind of a little bit harder to get into it. So the yarn has to be in the front. So that's in English, uh, slip with yarn in front. But that yeah. comes almost by itself. Yeah. 
when you knit Norwegian style because the yarn goes back on the finger. And again. just to just to explain the idea of slipping the first stitch, it is to create a neat edge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because if you if you slip with the yarn on the wrong place, you won't have nice stitches yeah. on the side. You see, you see, you want to have stitches on the yeah, side. You really need, especially on a, on a project like this where you have two very defined edges, yeah. you really want to have that edge nice and neat with the stitches laying nicely. And the best way to do that is to slip them, the yeah. first stitch. I will show you something very nice. When you need Norwegian style. Say you want to have a yarn over and you want to slip and you want to knit one and you want to slip the knit stitch over. Okay, that's a lot of things to do at once. Yeah, but see, when you knit Norwegian style, you do the yarn over like that and then you slip at the same time. Oh. So there's not a lot of these things because the yarn is on the back. So it's just under and slip. Hmm. And then you knit and you lift over. Cool. Oh yeah, that was not easy. <laughs> you dropped the stitch. Yeah. So knit and over. You see how, how easy mm, that is? Super easy. I can do it. It's not now I'm not doing following the pattern, but I can show you one more time because it's like one operation when you slip and you yarn over and you slip. Mm. So it's un just under and slip. So that's a yarn over is mm. actually a needle under. Yeah. <laughs> In Norwegian, yeah. Yeah, you see? Under and that and knit and over. But sometimes also when you do when you knit to when you do uh, slip and knit and lift slip stitch over, mm -hmm. in some cases you can actually just do two together in the back leg or twisted as we say in Norway because it looks the same. Yeah, very nice. And, and in some cases when we do lace, sometimes it feels easier to do two together in the back leg. It comes naturally sometimes or and sometimes it's easier to slip, knit and lift over. But it looks the same. Mm. But the, the good thing with the knitting Norwegian style when you do this is the slip. Yeah. And yarn over and slip. Very so cool. It's yeah, yeah, it's easier when, when you this. do it that way, in my opinion. Yeah. So, and when, when, you, when you come to the other end and you go back, then you're on the purl side, so you have to slip with yarn in front again, yeah. and then you purl back. Hmm. So usually when you slip the stitch, if you're going to knit, you slip it with a yarn in back, right? Yeah. And if you're going to slip and then purl, you slip it with a yarn in front. That yeah. will create the nice even edge. So when, when you come back, it's always like, yeah, you have to slip it the right way, mm. not to have the ugly mm, yeah. edge. That's a very pretty edge, yeah. I have to say. But the, the beginning on each row is actually you slip and you knit. Uh, it's like a, always an, a knit in the mm. beginning and the end. And then when you turn it, it's also a knit in the beginning and the end. But mm. the rest is, yeah. on the back, is, the rest is purl. But it's all in the pattern. But try the yarn over slip, knit and lift slip stitch over Norwegian style. Mm. Because it's so much easier. So much easier, yeah. I think that's all you need to do this. Just knit two together and slip yeah. and yarn over. So and now you have to make one in my color. Yeah, we're going to look at uh, look at the <laughs> uh, the shade card for felted tweed. Yeah. And we're going to look for Arnest colors. Uh, you do like blues and reds, don't you? I do. And yeah. green. And I'm greens. very into green. You're very into moment. green. I know that. So we're going to find some beautiful colors from the Rowan uh, felted tweed color palette. Uh, this one's going to be mine uh, for sure. Can't wait to start wearing it uh, this fall. And yeah, if you want to get the pattern for this scarf, all you need to do is go to arnicarlis.com, choose our web shop, and you are able to get the pattern through there. So when, when we finish this one, we just weave in the ends and we don't do anything. Exactly. It's like you don't need to stay more block or whatever you do because it's lace. Yeah. And, and it, already, you, it already curls in that way yeah. when, you, when, uh, when you look at the back. So it doesn't matter. I mean, when, I, when I'm going to wear that or I'm going to do say I do uh, this and that 
it's not even gonna no it's not even gonna show so it doesn't really matter mm. um, and we didn't do any particular edge it's just two needles of knit mm. so we, we think it's fine if, if it roll up a little yeah, bit it's now okay. it in the end it doesn't care if you think that's a problem just do a little rib yeah. in the beginning but if it's not you, a problem what I mean fringes, fringes on as you were saying it, it is a lace scarf yeah. so uh, I don't think you should do anything with lace no. because you can destroy the feeling of the like the relief yeah. thing? The pattern, yeah, the yeah. lace pattern. And it already curls in, in a way that actually you have an edge, if you look at it that, this way. There is kind of like a curled edge, which is nice. It, does, it, works. it works. It works pretty well. So this is pretty much it from uh, the, the headquarters. Arne and Carlos HQ. Uh, we bring you new episodes every Sunday and uh, uh, sit in it for a bit on Wednesdays. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, uh, so please give us a big thumbs up, and put on that notification sign, uh, or click on the notification bell, so that you never miss an episode. Uh, we'd love it if you become a subscriber to our channel, there's loads of fun tutorials and podcasts, and we're here every week. Yeah, and I should do some manicure after all this gardening. Yeah, I you think should people do your... will complain on my nails now. Yeah, probably, yeah. I've been digging. They'll be sending you creams, hand Thank creams you. and things. <laughs> I have my cow cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Arne uses cow cream, uh, which is a cream that is used... Uh, I tried your aloe vera thing. Yeah. That was disgusting. Yeah, well, no, the aloe vera it is was good. So, like, first it's so wet, mm. and soon it's... It dries on your finger and it yeah. feels like glue. Yeah. And I was. But the cow like, cream, as we call it, the cow cream is good because it's very fatty, isn't it's it? Fatty. It's fatty. So good. it kind of replenishes <laughs> your hands. And, and why do we call it cow cream, Arne? Because, because you use that on the cows. Exactly. After you milk the cow, yeah. you put on the cow cream. And we know there's an English word. Oh yeah. Because we got a lot of messages with yeah. English word. But we forgot, so we. I wanna... like to call it the cow cream. Yeah. It's it's just a name. We're changing we... English language, yeah. you see. It's a joking uh, name. We call it cow cream, and the Norwegian version is called spenol. Uh, Spenfett or spenol. Yeah, and it is actually, that's the name of the thing. Yeah, the thing. That the cows have, that you milk through. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> too much information. The cow breasts. Yeah. Jur. The cow boob. That's the Norwegian word mm. of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Jur. Jur. Okay, see you next time. Anyway, thank you so we much for watching, now. and see you. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much, much for watching. Sun. Too warm. Can I finish this? You can finish. Thank you so much for watching and see you again uh, next week. Bye! Bye! That's <laughs> oh, so thick.